I see it's um, a dome shape made of stacked rocks. Mm -hmm. And inside, even though there's no windows, it's very bright. I yeah. see a star. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this star? It's a, <clears throat> it's a five pointed star. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of in the center. Very good. And tell me how it is that you look in this place. What do you look like there? I feel floaty. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I have a body. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as you're floating, I'd like for you to just go ahead and begin to float towards that star. And tell me what happens as you get closer. In the center of the star, there is a portal. Mm -hmm. And I am very small. Mm -hmm. I might be a fairy. Wonderful. As you get closer to this portal, how is it making you feel? Kind of excited, but it's mm -hmm. neutral. Wonderful. So let's use this portal to take you to a place in which you were using your gifts that needed to be used now. We're going to go to a time and place in which all of this will be revealed to you. So I'd like for you to just begin to go into that portal and I'm gonna count from five to one. When I get to number one, you will be in that time and place are you using these skills, this creativity? Five. Four. Three. Allow the images to come now. Two. And one. You're there now. What are you sensing? An open landscape, and I think there's a flying saucer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Keep going. Connect with all of your senses, your feelings, your emotions. What's happening? I feel very tall. Mm-hmm. Maybe like an old man. Okay. Kind of like a wizard with a staff. Mm -hmm. Just turn your attention on yourself, beginning by looking down at your feet. And just describe to me what you are like there. I have on sandals and a long robe and airy, light clothes underneath it. And I'm holding a staff that has a curly top. It's maybe wood. I have on a hat. I look like a wizard. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? <clears throat> I want to say 86. Very good. And what do they call you? Don't analyze it, just know what it is. I heard Merlin. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what is it that's happening at this time? You say you see an open landscape with something there. There's an owl mm -hmm. that is my friend and he comes. I feel very 
connected to this space. Mm -hmm. I feel grounded. Wonderful. Now in this space, you'll be able to use your telepathic abilities, the ones you use with your owls and others around you. As you are receiving information, what is this place? It's my home. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's where I practice mm -hmm. magic. Tell me about this magic. It uh, comes from a place within the core of my being is warm and filled with it's like a light, a warmth. Mm -hmm. It starts my solar plexus region and it just comes up through my heart. And I, uh, there are sick people, there are I see people that I'm healing that are covered and it's like they don't, they're not, I'm not sure if they're people. They're these wrapped entities that are human size, but it's like they're not there. What are they wrapped in? Cloth. They're mm -hmm. wrapped, I think. It's like folded material or I just, I don't see people, but it looks like they're bundled up, but they're standing. Mm -hmm. You assume there's people inside, but I don't see the people. Where are these people? Where are they? Mm -hmm. They're in this place. Identify what that place is. I see a planet that has, it's like the moon of this place. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a moon that has multiple rings that are like a cross. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. What do you have to do with these people? I'm their teacher. Ah, okay. They're not people. Mm -hmm. They are like they're larva or they're, but they don't have faces or they're maybe the, maybe they're just larva. Mm -hmm. They're big. <laughs> um, They have black holes where their faces would be, but it's folds of skin like those dogs that are really wrinkly, mm -hmm. but they don't have arms or legs. And uh, what is it that you're teaching them today? How to be human. Mm, okay. Wow. How to grow into how to grow into their next, how to evolve. Mm -hmm. I see a figure with wings. Mm -hmm. Maybe an angel. Yes.
Tell me more about this. It's a very um, sensitive being mm -hmm. that is deeply connected with nature and all that is. Mm -hmm. And it has wings and it looks more, it, it has wings and it's also human or a figure like a human. And these larvae <laughs> cracks me up. Um, turn into these, evolve into these beings. Mm -hmm. They have um, flowers around their hair or their head. They look female. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens once you teach them. What happens to this larva, this larva group of, of beings? How does, how does your teaching affect them? They grow. I share with them how I feel from this core of my being and yes if they go through different stages of evolution based on this inner drive and desire Mm -hmm. It's not a desire, it's not the right word, but just this instinct maybe mm -hmm. to, I teach them about this feeling mm -hmm. that I have, um, feeling is the wrong, it's not emotional, it's a, a physical feeling. Mm -hmm. This physical feeling that you have, is this what drives what happens? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they receive it physically? That's what I'm teaching them, how to tune in mm -hmm. to receive this feeling in order to evolve through the stages. Wonderful. Now, you as this teacher, can you see when one of your students has received this information and is using it. Can you see the transformation happen? I can feel it. Mm -hmm. So let's go through the evolution of this teaching and see what happens to your students once they learn. What do you notice? They go through, it's a hard process. Mm -hmm. and they always have it, but they don't have a conscious mind mm -hmm. to allow them to know. They, are, they don't have a consciousness at first. They are just an entity. Mm -hmm. that it's a very early stage okay. of development. And I am teaching them how to tune in to this feeling, which allows them consciousness and to they connect with the earth and the animals in this place, which are not, which are kind of mythical looking like mm -hmm. dragons or griffin they're flying dragons mm. what planet is that does it have a name xenon mm -hmm. is what comes 
Very good. So all of these larva beings that you're teaching are going to this planet Xenon? We're on this planet Xenon. Ah, mm -hmm. Very good. Tell me more about this. And in the in their evolution, they it's almost like they grow dark before mm -hmm. they get there. They grow, they um, do things. They have to experience the dark. Hmm. Hmm. And I recognize that I have to detach hmm. from them emotionally in order to allow them to be the darkness mm -hmm. so that they can get to the full evolution of their being. Wonderful. They fight with each other and these dragons or creatures that are they ride aren't they're kind of heavy they're kind of dark creatures like they're connecting with parts of this planet that are not enlightened mm -hmm. this the space that i'm that i was in felt very light but there are parts of this most of this planet is heavy mm -hmm. and wicked do you know this as you teach them you know that this is their evolution yes mm -hmm. so what happens next i'd like for you to close this scene and we're going to go to the next important scene where you understand these gifts that you have as i count from one to three going forward one two and three where are you now? I'm in a dark part of the landscape of this world. Mm -hmm. it's, I know these creatures that they have to connect with. We have a sort of truce. So while they are wicked, they we have a I'm not harmed and I, it's like they respect me, mm -hmm. but I'm not controlling them. What is it that you do in this space? Why are you there? I feel like a manager or something. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. What is it that you're managing? I'm managing teaching these larva and beings the harder aspects of this evolutionary process. And I feel like other things on this planet but I don't have control over it. Again, there's a truce. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to just feel your inner core. What are you feeling emotionally? I have concern. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. I have concerns that it's so hard and I get, uh, I'm passionate about this process. I know the potential. Mm -hmm. I know what's going to happen. But there's, I don't control it, but I know that I know the potential and what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. And then I am connected with all of the parts of this planet 
that that are aspects of this evolutionary process. Very good. Is there anything else in this scene that you need to be aware of? There's a sword or a staff. It's um, pointed down and the top of it mm -hmm. has a shape of a winged creature. Mm -hmm. What is this thing? This is a fountain. It says I hear fountain of youth. It is it is it's a light that has a rotating top that has this maybe winged butterfly or moth or mm -hmm. those are the only words I have, mm -hmm. but it's it's like a sword that's it's hovering, but it's got multiple it's multiple facets and it's probably five, six feet tall. Mm -hmm. It's hovering on the on the ground. It's pointing down and light is beaming as it turns from the different facets of light and the top is turning slowly and I feel this resonate in my core it's it's like maybe I'm getting the energy from this thing mm -hmm because it's separate from me, but I, it's the same feeling I have that in my, from my root all the way through my, the core of my body, it's like a spinning light. Very good. Now everything has consciousness and you're able to connect with everything. So I'd like for you to connect with this sword that is, has this light in it. And you will know what is the meaning of this. What is it for? It's a part of nature. Mm -hmm. It's a part of it is. It's the spinning existence of all that is. Mm -hmm. And it shape shifts into it can shape shift into many different things. It prefers to shape shift into flowers and beauty. Mm -hmm. and nature. Is this thing something that is teaching you how to shapeshift also? When I'm connected with this, I am connected with this and it helps me to it helps me to understand the greatest evolution of all mm -hmm. good when you are in this place do you look the same i think I feel much 
brighter Mm -hmm. and taller. Mm -hmm. Notice what that is. I feel like an angel or Elohim or I feel heavier. You feel heavier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel more responsible. Okay. You had said before that this existence was part of nature. Are you part of nature also? I am the sun. Mm. I am I'm the rising sun. Tell me more about that. There's an expansiveness that we all are. Mm-hmm. And I can, I like to be the rising sun. Mm. I like to shape shift into that moment when the light breaks and the Mm. colors reflect on all the particles of wherever it is. Mm and brings a new existence to this, to the moment. Beautiful. So when we started there, you were shaped as an old wizard teaching your magic. Do you shape shift? Is this what you do? We all shapeshift. Tell me about that. The light from that core exists to learn. And then it's like the larva in order for them to evolve through their stages of being, they have to experience and do all things. Mm -hmm. And they have a period where it's hard and it's traumatic. And eventually they are more connected with the beauty and the lightness. And I experience this timelessness that is part of the all that is and have evolved to to be able to enjoy and follow the lightness in my core to bring that to others, Mm -hmm. to teach others and to bring Mm -hmm. the, the sun and the light to the darkness. Wonderful. So I want you to notice how is it that in the lifetime of Nicole, you are using this gift, this knowledge, this ability? I 
it's a box mm -hmm. and there's people that come and go and cycle through in this box. So let's focus on this box. Is this her life? It's like a square tunnel. Mm -hmm. And this is her life. All right. So let's take a moment now and see this tunnel before you. And I'm going to count from five back to one as you travel this tunnel. And let's go to a time in the lifetime of Nicole that affected her. A time in which she may have forgotten her gifts. Five, something that affected the lifetime of Nicole. Four, feeling it in your body. Three, Two, and one, you're there now. Notice how old you are and where you are. I feel the change from the core of being light is now my stomach is tight mm -hmm. but I feel I'm surrounded by guides and protectors mm -hmm. I know I feel their presence but I'm really scared mm -hmm. so I want you to just shine your light on these guides see how many there are around you there's a bunch. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Let's say four, mm -hmm. three. Good. So I'd like for you to just connect with what's happening there, that all of these guides are with you. Why are they I'm trying there? to calm me down? Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of hysterical. So connect. Mind to mind, soul to soul. What do they tell you? I'm trying to give me a feeling of calm. And peace. And I, to... To calm me down because I'm very upset. Let's find out why it is that you're upset. Everything has been lost. Mm -hmm. Everyone was taken away. And when you feel this feeling, I want you to feel how it feels physically to have lost everyone and everything. What does it make you feel? Sad, mm -hmm. dark, lonely, abandoned. So I want you to focus on these feelings of being sad and feeling dark and lonely and abandoned. And focus on your emotions. How are you emotionally handling this? Not well. That's why my guides are there. Mm -hmm. What's happening? What emotions are coming up? Forsaken is the word that comes. Mm -hmm. Forsaken. And when you feel forsaken, what are the things that are going through your mind? How could you? Mm -hmm. I want you to focus on that, how could you? And I want you to intensify that feeling. 
And let's go to the origin of that. Just keep repeating that feeling, that feeling of forsaken, of sad, of dark. Five, going deeper into it now, feeling this forsaken. Four, bring it up now. Three, even more. Feel it in your body. Two, and one. What do you see before you? A tornado. Mm -hmm. I feel broken. Broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like a funnel cloud that's Mm -hmm. What's happening with this funnel cloud? Notice. It is churning up Mm -hmm. the landscape and there are there's like one big entity that is surrounding this funnel cloud, watching it churn up. Mm -hmm. And I am a bystander that is, it's like I'm watching God kill the earth. Mm -hmm. What do you look like there? I am, I look like uh, I have on a headdress that's maybe what I would describe as it's all white clothes. Mm-hmm. Um, I might be a, I want to say prophet, a follower. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female? Do you have a gender? I think I'm male. Mm -hmm. What is your role here as you're watching this happen, this tornado? Just to watch. It's like I'm meant to see this destruction. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and tell me what happens. Everything is getting sucked up into this funnel cloud. And I'm watching a great being control this. Mm -hmm. And there's people and all the lives and animals, nature, it's all getting spun around. Mm -hmm. And I am protected. It's like I'm just supposed to watch. So take a really good look at this entity. Has this entity ever been in the lifetime of Nicole? Do you recognize the entity? Feel it. Don't analyze it, just know it. I, it's shifting from masculine to feminine, Mm -hmm. from God to Mary. It's the funnel cloud is now 
I'm seeing it as that same sword mm-hmm. that you. had the light. Mm-hmm. So as you're watching this, <clears throat> what are you understanding? I understand that it's all one experience and what is destruction of everything is also the light that we must live by. Very good. So as you remember this, I'm going to count from five back to one. And I want you to be at that moment again at the age of four with your guides. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're there now. I want you to sense your body now. Now with this knowledge, what are you feeling now? She is more calm. Mm -hmm. There is this intellectual misunderstanding like how can that be how can it be so painful and destructive and also that she doesn't understand I'd like for you to go ahead and explain to little Nicole why it is that she had to experience all of this destruction around her all of this needing to be detached. You are a magical being. You come with so much power. And part of your power is this disempowerment. So I'd like for you to switch and be inside of this little girl's body, mind and spirit. Little Nicole, do you understand now what's happening around you? Do you remember now? I've always understood Mm -hmm. part of the process is to feel and these feelings I just needed to transform one feeling into another feeling Mm -hmm. and I know my feelings really well after what's happened very good So I want you to focus on that light within, that transformative light. And notice what happens when you focus on it. Gets brighter. Mm -hmm. What do your guides tell you now? They're less hectic also. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Now we're going to go to another time and place where things were not going well. Things were stopping you from progressing in the way that you soul wanted to progress in this life. As I count from five to one, let's go to another memory. Five, the time in which you felt anxious. Four, sadness. Three, two, 
And one, you're there now. What's happening? I'm in a city and it's smoggy. Mm -hmm. It's busy. I'm a woman. Things oh. feel How very. How old are you there? I am 24. Okay. Tell me more. Things feel very off balance. The landscape keeps shifting. Like I'm on a boat, but I'm not. I'm in the city. Mm -hmm. But it's like rocky. What's causing this rockiness? I think it's me. Mm -hmm. What's happening to you? I might have vertigo. Mm -hmm. I can't stand or the way that I see things is not the way other people see things. Mm -hmm. So by having this shifting, what does it do to you physically? It's an internal thing. Mm -hmm. I see when I pull out of my body, I see that I'm fine. I'm standing there, but inside it's, it's, rocking and shifting mm -hmm. the landscape is undulating yeah so how do you how do you feel emotionally about what's happening to you all this shifting it's difficult to be in this body mm -hmm. and i can't maintain very well so what happens what happens next I am, I got put into a mental institution. Notice and what's happening to you. I'm strapped and I, it's, I just I don't understand, I can't. I am mad that I'm there, but I also, the world is too much. Mm -hmm. Notice how you're handling it physically. What's happening to your body? I'm sitting. They often strap me down. But my I use my hands mm -hmm. sort of to express my imbalance. I'm probably harming myself because mm -hmm. it's, I really don't want to live. I don't want to live. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Go to the point in which this body no longer wants to live. What happens? you to feel it. Where are you? She's dissociated. Mm -hmm. It's hard to feel. I don't know if she's on drugs or or just emotionally, mentally dissociated. Mm -hmm. She's nice. not connected. So notice where it is that your soul is watching this from. Are you in the body or just watching her? I'm not in the body. Not in the body. Notice where you are. I'm sort of above. I can float around. Mm -hmm. I'm, I can't leave that body. Mm -hmm. But I am not in it. I can't leave like a distance, I can't separate. 
So but notice, I'm not in how, that notice how that makes you feel as a soul watching this. I want to be back in there. Mm -hmm. But that body didn't, it didn't fit. Mm -hmm. It didn't fit inside that body. So notice if there is still a part of your soul in that body. The part. Notice if there's anything left in there. There's there's entities in there. Mm -hmm. okay. And there is. And I can't escape. Mm hmm. Notice what's keeping you with that body. I feel like there's an entity that's keeping me. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, I'm not sure. All right. So let's speak with that entity now. I want you to lend this entity your lips and your voice and your mind. I'm going to count from one to three. Let's speak with that entity now. One, two, and three. Switch. You there. What is it that you're attempting to do with this body? Helping it. How are you helping? It, it's, it's too weak. Mm -hmm. I needed to come in and give it some strength, mm -hmm. give it balls. Do you know this soul, this woman? Well, I've been part of her. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you've been part of her. Were you I born flew in? in. You flew in. When did you fly in to her body? When did you attach to her field? She was out on the street mm -hmm. and dejected, rejected, and mm -hmm. she was unsafe. Mm -hmm. So, how is it that you died? Notice the last time you had a body. How did you die before you found her? There was an explosion. Mm -hmm. I was a man. I think I was... There was an explosion. Yes. And why is it that after your body was no longer inhabitable, why didn't you go to the light? I was too angry. Mm. What did they call you in that lifetime? Bob. Mm hmm. So, Bob, when you were so angry, when did you find this woman? Notice what happened. Were you just out on the street looking for a body? It's like I was attracted to her. Mm. So she couldn't be angry. She couldn't be angry. So you were able to help her be angry. And what happened after she became angry? Did that affect her? She didn't become angry. Um, she became hysterical. Hysterical. Did you have anything to do with her vertigo? Or was that someone else? I feel like she already had vertigo. She already had it. So how did you 
affect her to the point where she was taken into an institution. She started to protect herself. Mm -hmm. I helped her. You helped her. Okay. So now she's trying to leave her body. Why are you holding her back? It's just the way it is. Uh, you see, Bob. We're honestly, all stuck here. We're all stuck here. Well, I, I, I beg to differ with you, Bob. We have free will on this planet. And part of the soul's evolution is when you die in one body, your soul evolves. It goes back to the light. It goes back with your guides. You learn some more. And those things that you want to relive, you want to learn about, you come back. But you see, you didn't do that, Bob. You stayed here. And now you're holding her back from her being able to find the light, to find relief. You're interfering with her free will. Is that, which ha is it, is that how you help people? It's my free will to be here. Ah. But let's find out if it's her free will. I'm going to count from one to three and switch. One, two, and three. I want you to tell me if it's your free will to have this Bob attached to you, holding you back. No. No. Do you realize that he was trying to help you all this time? I see that. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive him for not knowing that this was going to affect you, even at the point of death? Yes. Can you forgive him for that? I understand. I can forgive. All right. So I want you to tell him what you wish for him to do. Do you wish for him to go to the light? Or hang out with you even more? No, he needs to leave. Okay, switch. Bob, she's forgiven you for not knowing. But now I want you to look around and notice what's holding you back, Bob. What has anchored you down to earth to the point where you cannot leave? Where is your energy anchored? In my throat and... Yeah between my throat and my heart. Very good. So I want you to notice if there's any energy there that's trapped. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Where is that energy coming from? It's a block. It's a block. Due to my anger. Very good. Are you willing to let go of that anger now? Yes. Very good. So I want you to just go ahead and pull that energy out and just release it. Release it to the light. And tell me what happens. It's shrapnel mm. from the explosion. All right, go ahead and begin pulling all of that shrapnel out. You don't need that, Bob. I need some help. All right, very good. So, Bob, I want you to look around and find your guide, the one who has always been there waiting for you. I feel like my guide died. Mm, there is no such death. Who would you like to call in, Bob? I'd like to call in Remember, it's all your free will. Who can guide you with this? I'm just seeing guns and death and mm -hmm. helmets on top of crosses. Mm -hmm. Is that from your life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So notice if you're trapped in that. I'm, I can't. I don't have any guides here. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to find out what happened at your death, how you died. I was an explosion. I was a soldier. Very good. Everybody died. Very good. Notice all the pieces of your soul where they are. I feel like they're in France. Mm -hmm. So I want you to use something that we were talking about before, and that is a little light within you. And I want you to find that light within your soul and amplify it. 
This is a creative light. This is the light that created you. And tell me what happens as you begin to amplify that light within you. You feel more hope. Very good. So with that hope, I want you to go ahead and begin to find all of the pieces of your soul. Bring them in. Use that light to reel them all in. And make yourself whole, Bob. Don't leave any pieces behind. I feel more whole. Very good. And now with that whole feeling, I want you to look at this woman that you've been attached to. Are you ready to release yourself now from her? Yes. Very good. So I want you to take all of your energy now. Retrieve all of your energy from her. And I want you to see that portal opening with the light. And begin going towards that light and tell me what happens, Bob. There's a very uh, a happy man with a white hair and a beard. Mm-hmm. He's pulling me up. Wonderful. Wonderful. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. So close that portal now and let's switch. Now you who have died in that mental hospital, I want you to see now what has happened to your soul. I'm reconnecting with my soul. Very good. Bring it all of the pieces together and tell me how that feels. I still have a feeling in my chest, between my throat and chest that feels like a pain. Mm-hmm. Focus in on it, see what it is. Intensify it. What does it remind you of, even if you think you're making it up? It's a triangle Mm -hmm. that I was thinking it was a a, a branding. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel it. What does that feel like to you? It feels like there's a rock. Mm-hmm. Keep going. It's hard and maybe faceted. Mm-hmm. How is it making your body feel with this rock? heavy, mm-hmm. like I can't breathe and I can't talk. Mm-hmm. Notice what's keeping you from breathing and talking. It's a fear. Mm-hmm. Follow that fear. What is my truth is not other people's truth. Mm-hmm. Notice where you are. What is this place? It might be a it feels like a religious space. Mm-hmm. So feel this heavy feeling keeping you from speaking, keeping you from breathing well. Intensify the feeling, what's happening to your body. I have a cough. Mm -hmm. I might, I'm a nun. Mm -hmm. 
and there is this beautiful truth that's welled up, but it's my truth. And it's not accepted. And it's this beautiful crystal rock, but it's blocked because I can't talk about it. So notice what it is that's feeling that pressure on your chest. What's happening to your body? I'm getting sick, Mm -hmm. getting weak. What are you? It's making me dizzy. It's making you dizzy. What what do you feel emotionally about this? Anxious. Mm Mm-hmm. What happens next? I have to leave, Mm -hmm. but I don't have anywhere to go, and I'm sick. Keep going. Notice what happens next. My spirituality grows, but I am not well on the earth plane, and I'm yet I'm still there. Mm-hmm. Very good. And yes. I go to the streets, and I just, that's where they find me and pick me up because I'm sick and mm-hmm. and. Yeah. What do they call you there? Helen. Mm -hmm. So Helen, I want you to go to the moment of your death. Where are you? I'm on a table in that mental institution. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm I feel like they used my body as a test. I had no, I had no family, and they, they just, I, I, they were using me to test on, because I was not there and had no say. Very good, Helen. Is this the same lifetime that we were looking at before? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now you understand what that vertigo was? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want you to notice what it is that's keeping you in that body. You no longer have Bob in that body. What's keeping you from moving into the light now? I understand now. Mm -hmm. There is still something that truth. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to speak that truth now, Helen? Are you ready to release it? Yes. Go ahead, release that truth. Love is all powerful and power is love. Notice how your body feels now that you've released this. That someone has hurt you. How does that feel? A warm surge of light mm-hmm. and a reconnection mm-hmm. and a peace and a relaxation. Beautiful. So bring in your soul, make it one, and feel the sensation of leaving that body now. And 
Tell me what happens. I'm able to forgive mm. the people that were using my body to test for science. Mm. And I detach from the oppression of my voice mm -hmm. and knowledge. Very good. So now that you have released that, I want you to see how that lifetime of Helen has been affecting the lifetime of Nicole. What is that keeping her or was keeping her from doing now in this life? She was afraid mm -hmm. to voice her truths, to feel fully into her heart. Mm -hmm. And allow herself to be seen in a world that feels like love is not the priority. So this is the reason why she didn't want to come out as a spiritual being? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So how is it that she's feeling so much pain now? Does that have to do with your life, Helen, or something else? Bob was in pain. Mm. So all of that chronic shoulder and the upper to middle back, was that Bob? It was Bob and it was fear. Mm -hmm. So did Bob follow you, Helen, into this lifetime of Nicole? It's all connected in the soul's existence. Very good. Very good. So now let's find out a little bit about how it is that Nicole can blend her creativity and spirituality in her work. Now that she can voice her spirituality. There's a channel that opens without that block mm -hmm. that allows the divine to come in and work more fully through her. Many divines from Buddha. <laughs> mm-hmm. Had she been blocking this, this creativity? She wasn't able to channel it well. Mm -hmm. She was working with it intermittently because we would send it. And she didn't understand how it would come. Mm -hmm. But it was working. It was showing up. It always surprised her, too, but after the fact of what had happened. Very good. So we have seen several lifetimes. What is the, the main gift that she has come in with at this time? Because she does astrology, she does hypnosis, she does art. What is the gift that she is focusing on now in this lifetime? Are there many? Using her hands mm -hmm. to bring the light forth. Is she going to be expanding on this in the future, using this? There's a reconnection of the physical with the intellectual. Mm -hmm. Notice if that has been detached, this connection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me where that is. 
the brain. Mm -hmm. Very good. Notice how it is that it's been detached. What has severed it? brain, the mind is, is just floating, separate. Okay, let's, find, let's find out why. I want you to go ahead and go back to the origin of when you severed that. Notice how old you are when you disconnected and detached. Six. Mm -hmm. What's happening at six? The awareness of reason, a disconnection from the hope of the heart, mm -hmm. the trauma that was received. And there needed to be a disconnection in order for the child to survive. Mm -hmm. So it was a good thing for the child to be able to detach at that time. Mm -hmm. yep. Sort of an assimilation. Mm -hmm. But that child has grown up. She has learned. She's now connected back to her purpose here, to using her gifts. Do we need to have that detached any longer? No. No. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and find that sword of light and begin to use that power to bring that back. And tell me what's happening. I'm holding the sword. Mm -hmm. And I'm surrounded by guides and angels. Mm -hmm. And I'm rotating the sword in my hands. And I begin to feel the core, that warmth in my stomach that comes up my body into my heart, reconnects in my throat. I feel that core coming back together. It pulls in my brain, my mind. Very good. Keep scanning your body and see if there's anything else there that is either connected or not connected where it should be. My shoulders. Mm -hmm. Notice what's there. It's a burning sensation. Mm -hmm. And you'll know why. Disconnection from spirit. Mm -hmm. The lightness and the freedom to fly. Beautiful. So what are you going to connect that with now? Come up with a color of healing. It's a light, it's pink and blue, kind of pastel pink and blue. Beautiful. So I'll go, go ahead and send that into that spot, soothing it. And after it soothes it, go ahead and repair the connection once again.
So now as you feel your body now flowing once again, is there anything else that you would like to address or do you feel that we are complete? I feel we are complete. Very good. So I'd love to. Mm. Welcome back. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say what everyone says. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank did, you so much. Did you expect that to be like that? No, <laughs> not, not at all. I mean, you, I knew I didn't, I tried not to expect anything, yeah. but. So Nicole, <laughs> without cheating, how, oh. did, how much time did it feel? Was it short for you? Long for you? A um, I'm trying not to cheat, but I think I looked at the clock. <laughs> 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 um, it, it, it's, it's another space. It's another dimension entirely. Yeah. So time just doesn't exist, but it, so was it quick went really fast. It, it, it went really fast. go very fast. So, I know I'm going to be shocked. No, How? it's like an hour and 26 okay. minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You did a lot in a short period of time. We did. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, uh, yeah, we went through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Now you have been hypnotized quite a few times before. Mm -hmm. So how did this one, how is this one different than the others? Um, I was able to connect really well, mm. uh, I thought. Um, yeah. In the past, it's been um, a little harder to really trust. Yeah. But I've listened to so many of your videos that your voice just took me right there. <laughs> Makes you flow, right? <laughs> yeah. So we um, did some interesting things. We we were uh, dealing with a wizard that kind of shape shift shifted into some larva planet that not yeah. larva planet, but a planet that they 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 first saw the dark side before they they had to learn through the dark stuff. Does that make sense to you? As to your beginnings and on this planet? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We all, I we guess, all have to go through that. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then um, you had an entity that was attached to a past life. Bob. What a Bob. crazy name. It was so hard to go with that name. I was like, Bob, really? That's an entity's name? I mean, shouldn't it be like Beelzebub or something like that? <laughs> So how does your back feel now? It feels really good. My whole body feels really good. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. It was a great session. I mean, every session for me is different too. You know, I never know where it's going and I amaze myself too. It's like, I'm listening to myself and going like, whoa, that's wild. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm as and amazed as you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. I think, or thank you for, for going with it because- yeah. All of it, um, I, I felt uh, definitely that freedom with you because of your open mind and your willingness to explore and be the adventurer mm -hmm. in this in this game that we're playing. Yeah, and I yeah. trusted you to yeah. to be open to some crazy stuff. <laughs> so, so now that you've experienced this, because you do hypnosis yourself, yeah. How does how would this experience help you? in helping others, because that was their main thing. You wanted to help other people yeah. and use your gifts to help. In so many ways, I yeah. don't think I can verbalize right now all the ways that this will help me. Yeah. Um, but it's always good <laughs> to experience it yourself before you can, right. <clears throat> as you know, uh, yeah. before you can really support others in yeah a crazy journey. You know, I think the biggest thing that's coming right now is that um, the world that is the subconscious can be so much more beautiful and crazy and just to go with it and to trust yeah. that it's the trust that, mm -hmm. that I really uh, felt this time working yeah. with you in particular. Yeah. yeah. And uh you know, a lot of people, and this is something that, again, we, you know, we, we were talking for 
a long time before, but, um, you know, a lot of times in these sessions, you are uh, seeing things through metaphors. Yes. Okay. Um, that, that, you know, for example, when you saw yourself as the wizard, mm -hmm. okay, as Merlin, that was your representation of a teacher. You know, it wasn't actually, you know, it, it, it's not actually, you know, it, it doesn't have to be Merlin, right. but it's like how you represented Merlin to be mm -hmm. a teacher, mm -hmm. you know, because then when yeah. you were in that place with a sword, you look different. Right. It's like you shape shift, you know, to, to fill the, 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 uh, the role that you're playing. Yeah. Does that make sense? I'm still working. Yes, that does make sense. But I'm trying, you know, it's, it's just like, um, we know when you come out of it, it's very much like a dream that yeah. can, and I can't remember what I shape shifted into, but that mm -hmm. I'm, that's yeah. why we have recordings. Okay. That's why you have recordings. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that, this is really interesting, wasn't it? So is this something that you want to share, Nicole, with other people? What do you think? Do or you, you want to keep it? it would, or do you, do you want to keep it? Uh, you know, most people, most of my sessions are not online, yeah. just to let you know. So yeah. if this is something that you would like to share, we could. Or if you don't want to share, we'll keep it private. I've walked so many and received so much benefit from them that if you think, I think this might be beneficial for others okay. to understand their truth and their voice and that love is powerful and that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember that. Right, right. <clears throat> So being that we're going to share this, how can, where are you located, first of all? Where do you I'm live? in Seattle. You're in, in Seattle. And what kind of work do you do? I'm an astrologer, an artist, an intuitive, and I am also a Beyond Quantum healing practitioner, beta healer, <laughs> and I might be doing an introspective hypnosis class soon. Yeah, because we used a lot of the techniques here today. Uh, yeah. weaving them in and out. So yeah. how can somebody find you? Because we're going to put it up here. What Thank you. I have a website, NicoleDement.com. And that's okay. Nicole with an H. Excellent. Excellent. So if you want to um, have a set, if you're in Seattle, or even if, uh, you know, if you want to do this online with her, um, you do, you do have a YouTube channel also. I do. I do yeah. guided meditations at the full and new moon. And I go. just put one up yesterday. It's interesting how the correlation between this session yeah. and that piece. There too. you go. So contact Nicole if you uh, are looking for all of those different uh, modalities that she's doing. She's also a, a wonderful artist. Mm. Uh, uh, just to sneak that in because I thought that was really <laughs> beautiful too. And if you want to find me, you could just go to my website, albawyman.com. Uh, in order to get a session with me, you do have to sign up for a newsletter. And that new newsletter comes out about once a month with a limited amount of sessions for the, for the next month. And that's how Nicole got her session. You've been trying for a little bit. A long time. And don't give up. <laughs> there you go. When it's right, you will find yeah. the spot that you need. Just don't She's give up. So thank you for watching, everyone. And I hope I uh, get to see you in another session or a gathering. I also do frequencies um, and ancient solfeggio frequencies. Just plug in that in. It's really great. And if you want to do that, just, just look it up on my website. Um, I am on Facebook and Telegram now. And I do have a following there. So see me there. I hope to, uh, to chat with you sometime. Until the next time, my love to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.